Hey folks, welcome back to the Hacker Stacker channel, and I want to reiterate the story that was told to me when I was interested in getting into stacking silver, and this is what was told to me. Go back to 1963 and go to a gas station. How many gallons of gas could you have bought with this dollar bill in 1963? Probably most of you are not going to be able to answer that because you weren't even born yet, but I was. I lived through the 60s, and I remember, and I've looked this up to confirm it, that gas was 31.9 cents a gallon. So at that price, I could have bought a little over three gallons of gas with this dollar bill. The same way I could have bought three gallons of gas with these four quarters, because it's still a dollar. Now, let's suppose that I did not purchase any gas with this dollar bill or these four quarters, and I put them away. I put them in my sock drawer, I put them in a safe, a lockbox at the bank, what have you. And I brought them out today. If I went to the store today with this dollar bill, how much gas could I buy? Well, that depends on the price of gas. Now, I realize the numbers I'm throwing out here are specific to right now and my location, your numbers are gonna vary a little bit because taxes and things and market values are gonna be a little different. But gas up the street for me is selling for $3.59.9. So I would be able to get a little less than one third of a gallon with this dollar bill. However, with these four quarters, I go to the gas station, yeah, they're only required to give me face value. So taking these to the gas station would only net me the same one third of a gallon. But these are 1963 quarters, just like this is a 1963 bill. So that means if I took these to the local coin store and sold them, if nothing else, for melt value, right now, as I make this video, silver is 25.5. 41.8 cents. That means that the silver content in these four quarters would net me $18.38 just in melt value alone. Now if I took that to the gas station at the current price, I would be able to get five dollars or five gallons, a little bit more, 5.16 gallons of gas. So that's what got me going to convert as much of this as I felt comfortable into this because I'm I feel that I'm preserving the purchasing power of every dollar that I have today when I convert it to silver that I can purchase something of equal value or the same value in the future as what this does today because this is fiat currency this will be devalued and it is designed to be devalued the government is cranking these things out by the truckload making more and more and more of them, which means the value of each one goes down. Silver, however, and by extension all precious metals, tend to at least keep pace with inflation. Now this isn't going to say that you can always expect to get more for your silver in the future. There may be uh, specific instances where if you purchased on this date and you sold on this date, you've actually lost purchasing power. Maybe you've made money, but you've lost purchasing power. And there may be cases where they're even. There may be a situation here in the near future where this is going to buy me the exact same 3.13 uh, gallons of gas that this did back in 1963. So that's the reason I got into silver, is to hedge against inflation. Now there's a lot of variations on this story. I've heard the same thing with X number of ounces and you can buy Mustangs with them and things like that. But this is the reason I got into stacking silver, to lock in the purchasing power of my fiat currency into a medium that historically maintains its value. So if you like these videos, be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment on them down below. I love to hear your thoughts and hit that bell for you to get notifications when new videos come out. This is Hacker Stacker, and I'll see you in the next video.